Who the hell made this mess? Okay, today we're going to make a little modification to this thing because it is rather annoying in one way. There we go. Can you hear that? But for me, it does not need to be this loud. So we're going to see how we can take it apart. And I don't see a lot of screws. It might be snap fit tolerance. Like plastic case. And probably just, I don't know. It's an easy way to reduce the volume. The easiest way is using a little resistor to prove the resistance, uh, attenuate, I think is the correct word. Okay, I found a receptacle, but it seems it fits this guy, so. We have this little guitar puck that's nice, just to lever things without marking them. Okay, it seems if you just get in there with something, once you put the screws out, they just pop out. It's not guitar, guitar pick, but it's something like that. All in the name of peace and quiet. one. There she blows, Captain. So we've still got all our overhangs, it looks like. We can get a good idea of where the sound's coming from now. Do I want to take it more apart? No, but yeah. But no, but yeah. Does this vibrate? It has a little vibration uh, spinner in here like you have on your phone. More complicated than I'd hoped for. Okay, it all springs apart. Be careful of that. <laughs> this guy is basically like you have in your phone, which makes it vibrate. It's just an unbalanced motor, so when it spins, it just goes crazy. I think this guy is the battery. Emphasize is why I'm doing this. So I think I'm gonna have to take more of this off. Try and find the speaker. Okay, we got the whole face here out, the whole circuit board. <coughs> That's got your power button on it and your return to home button. And the pause and the, and the 5D they call it. And now this looks like the battery integrated with the screen. Okay, we're still digging deep. It's gonna be here. It's the hardest thing to get to. Do I still want to keep doing this? Curious George, what happened to him? He ended up in a museum. There it is. The power of the control. Okay, 
Okay, it's just uh, 3.7 volts, so it's probably just a one cell battery. This speaker is being a beach. Okay, that's the, the board for the that wheel toggle. So it's ISO, is it? I guess, or whatever you abandon it to. And then your sport switch on the side there. That's a little toggle wheel. They do put a little grease on there. Okay, the main board. Da da da. Da 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 da. Snap. We got one fastener in this thing. Why didn't nobody tell me? Is that a fan? This thing's got a fan in it. Oh, so that's for the fan, okay. And this is a heat sink. Where's the fucking speaker? Oh, it's here. So this is what we've been, the little underboard switches there. Yeah, this is what we've been digging for here, this little bastard. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much a teardown of this. I'll do a zoom in to everything. Yeah, we're just going to take a quick look at the carcass. So we can see there we've got our super thin flat fan. We've got this vibrating module. So this is what you have in your phone. So it's an off-center motor. I've not moved this vibrates. That's weird. And a little toggle switch there. The other one I've taken out. And that's pretty much it in the carcass. You can see your mechanism there for the rotation. So a little L bracket sat on top of a, a pin for its axis. And that is pretty much it. Let's look at the bottom of the board. So it's got a heat sink on there, you got your USB, I don't know where all the chips are. And I'm able to read them. And then the bloody speaker that was buried so deep. The only reason we actually came in here. Let's have a peek on the other side. Looks like we've got our antenna board underneath a, a shield. So the, uh, this is just a plug for the battery here. And then this is the plug for the fan, all the way down. Uh, this is your screen connector. And you see these little connectors, these are for the boards, for the, for the rotary wheels sit on. So that's the one, the toggle one. So I believe that's for the, the gimbal rotate. So that integrates, sits in there and the wheel axis comes through there. Big suit, and you rotate it with your finger. Uh, the other one that sits in that side, so you can see it'll plug into there when the board goes down. A little connector on that. Uh, that's the sports mode switch. On the other side. The screen that I will need to clean sits on top of this like custom plastic molded uh, battery container and there is the battery the back side of your joystick so you can see how that works okay now I'll try and mess with the speaker to shut the thing up yeah I'm not just going to desolder it I'm going to put a resistor on there probably. Okay, I kind of played with the, the beeper. I didn't really like it even when it was quiet. So I'm changing that to something else. I've got these little nano LEDs. You won't be able to see these. 
So I'm wondering the 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 buzzer it was using two volts. So I was wondering how many of these I could power. I don't know how much ampage it can put out. But I'm just going to keep adding them and then try and figure out somewhere on the case to put these red lights. So they'll be super quiet, but it'll just flash red. So that's actually a feed from the, the buzzer now. So whenever the the buzzer's going off, because I've got none of the wheels connected around, it's continuously buzzing now. So it's super quiet, but we've got flashing red lights. Maybe that could work if there's loads of them. We'll see. So, a little bit of work, hammering and chiseling and burning and melting and kind of got it nearly there. So there we go, you can see it flashing. So that's basically the buzzer. <laughs> is working into those, or the, the power from the buzzer is working into those nano lights. I was just playing, trying to figure this out with the stick and it's actually a sensor of some kind, and a kind of sensor in there. The metal plate is sensed and if you look at the screen, it's the left and right stick in the DGA app. And if we take something metallic, like a screw, bit and stick that in there. It senses it. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I never knew about this at all. But I'm not big into RC stuff so maybe this is the norm. If you do take this apart it'll send your calibration to to buggery and you'll have to recalibrate in the app I'm sure. So I'm going to continue putting this back together for a moment. Here we go, it's finito! And because I need to recolor my sticks, the error is coming on, so we can see the... We can see the, the silence, the silenced lambs, the little annoying bastards have gone. I won't be able to see that very well with my phone in, I know. Ideally I should cut a hole here and put the lights in there, that's for that's a future mod.